What's up, trigger pullers? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, thanks for checking things out. You didn't have to click on this video, but you did, and that's cool. I really appreciate it. Fintfire.com is up and running. That's my website to cover everything that I've got going on with this channel. Most of the products that I talk about will be over there. So if you guys are interested in finding links to that because of YouTube's weird policies, or if you're interested in saving money with some good deals, you can check those out over on fitandfire.com. A lot of that stuff goes to affiliate links, so it's a good way to support the channel at the same time saving you guys some money, and I would appreciate it. All right, let's get into it. So back in October, I had a company reach out to me and asked if I was interested in looking at some of their products. That company was Bravo Concealment. They've been around for quite some time, and I'm just now, unfortunately, getting to a point where I can review this product. Naturally, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about their holsters, but I did want to do a video because I think it's actually a good quality piece of gear. Now, it may not be for everybody, and I fully understand that, but I really like uh, not only Bravo Concealment's products, but also their business model as well. So I'm going to talk about some good things about it. I'm going to talk about some things that I'd like to see improve. Naturally, I want to be fair to Bravo Concealment, uh, but at the same time, I want to be fair to you guys as well. So like I said, this was sent to me back in October, and I've had to kind of work it into my rotation on the different pistols that I am either carrying or testing. Uh, so I would wear it for a few days and I'd set it down for a week and then pick it back up and wear it a few more days and so on and so forth. And there's a, a few months where I just really wasn't carrying at all because of so focused in on the gym uh, that I would carry off body. So uh, that was uh, some delay on it too. So I do apologize to Bravo Concealment on the tardiness of this video. But at the same time, I wanted to ensure that I had plenty of time with this holster to ensure that I'm giving you guys a fair assessment. And we are talking about the Torsion 3.0 holster. This one is set up for a Glock 26 um, because to be frankly honest with you, I only had like one other holster for my Glock 26 and I wanted to try something a little different. This has a lot of things going for it. I really do like its minimalist design and the fact that uh, standard across all their torsion models is they have a cutout right down here for the barrel. In case you guys are running um, threaded barrels or extended barrels on, regardless what pistol you're using, you have that opening there specifically for that, which is really nice. The other thing that's really got it going on with this holster is the fact that it is contoured. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is somewhat contoured. So depending on where you put it on your body, it really doesn't matter. Appendix, three o'clock, four o'clock, it doesn't really, really matter of where you place this. It's going to be extremely comfortable. And because of its design, and the way that they made the backing on this with that contour, you're not going to need a claw or that uh, attachment right here to push it away, push the belt away from the pistol grip, which is usually the hardest piece to conceal on this pistol. So that's some really awesome things that it's got going on for it. Naturally, it's going to have adjustable clips. Uh, you can move these up or down however you want. If you if you really want, you can take this clip off and just run this one or vice versa. So that's some modularity there that really helps out. And then at the end of the day, it's just comfortable to wear. I didn't have any problems with it. There's one small issue, I'll get to that here in just a second, but um, at the end of the day, it was extremely comfortable to wear. So I do really appreciate that. The retention on this is really good, so you don't have to worry about this thing falling out of your pants like the FBI does. And um, I think it's tight enough that you can hear the click right there, that you're really not going to lose anything as you're trying to draw it as well. So here's the click. Really, really solid around that trigger guard. It's something I really like. Now, with the 26, um, one of the things that I did notice is that there's really no way to adjust the retention on it. Uh, and if there is, I, I may be missing it, but from what I can see, there's no way to adjust the retention. I do, on the Glock, I do know on the Glock 19s, you can, uh, or the other larger framed options, you have that ability, but on this one, I am not seeing it, so at the end of the day, for me, it really doesn't matter because the retention on it is 
perfect for me. So those are all the great things that it's got going on about it. So let's talk about some of the concerns that I have. About the biggest thing that I have with the setup on this is the bottom edge here. Uh, depending on where you set it, if it's where, if you're wearing an appendix like I normally do, um, because personally I feel that's the best way for me to protect my firearm. Uh, and yeah, I get it. You're gonna shoot your junk off, whatever. It, it never happen. It's never gonna happen. All right. So you can be quiet. Anyway. Um, with that being said, the bottom here is a little abrasive if you are sitting for prolonged periods of time. Uh, it'll kind of jab in a little bit. So if you really like how everything sits up, but that one small piece is bothering you, I would say just put um, some like moleskin or something at the bottom of here to, to really kind of help with that edge digging into your hip. But that's really the only thing that I would say is my biggest complaint about it. At the end of the day, again, it's extremely comfortable and extremely easy to not only conceal, but also draw as well. So there you have it. That is the Bravo Concealment Torsion 3.0. I really have had uh, a good experience with it. So if you guys are interested, I've got links to it over on fitandfire.com. You guys can check that out. One of the other things that uh, they did do also for me is they set me up with one of their outside the waistband holsters. This is for a Glock 19 with an RMR and a TLR1 weapons light. So I kind of put this on my battle belt from time to time. If I want something riding a little bit higher, I have that option. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's a solid performer as well. Again, contoured to really suck up against your your side and if you wanted to run this um you know during the winter which is why i wore it or when i wore it rather um you can you can be assured that it's going to fit snugly against your side and have no problems whatsoever so uh, the outside of the waistband holster is perfect as well so there you have it that's bravo concealment the last thing that I'm going to say about them is the fact that they have two awesome things going for, for the company. Number one is they have a 30 days, no question ask, money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with the product within 30 days, you can send it back and they're gonna give you a full refund. The second thing is that, let's say you decide that you do like it, but something happens to it, something breaks with it, they have a lifetime guarantee. So if something happens you can just send it back to them they'll fix it and send uh, a either a new holster to you or the repaired old one to you so that is pretty awesome as well uh, i don't have it with me but they also sent me a thank you card as if i was just a normal customer that's what they do to all of their customers and i think that's a really nice touch as well so there you have it bravo concealment that's about all i got this time let me know what you guys think what holsters are you running sound off in the comment section down below and would bravo concealment be an option for you guys i'd love to hear what you have to say so that being said that's really all i got we'll catch you guys later freedom through strength here comes a high five bye y'all